Hi, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to customize the login and registration page of our experience cloud site. To do it practically, go to our app and click find enter digital experiences. Click on all sites. Click on workspaces. Click on Administration Workspace. Click on Login and Registration. Here we can customize our site's login and registration page to show our company branding. To view the changes in login pages, let's open our site URL in incognito window. To copy our URL, go to Settings. This is the Experience Builder login page. It comes with the Salesforce logo and login button color is blue. If we want to add our company logo, we can add here. And if we want to change the login button color to anything, we can change. And if we want to change the background color also, we can change. To do these customizations, go to login and reg registration page. Instead of Salesforce logo, we can Apply our own logo here. Click on choose file. Select Ursa Major logo. If we want to change the background color, we can change from here. If we want to change the login button color, we can change here. Right frame URL. Here we can give the public image URL. So that image appears to the right side of our login form. Footer text. It appears at the bottom of our page. Next one is login page setup. Depending upon the login page setup, users can log in into our site by using username or email or phone number. Here we have different login pages. Let's check all these pages one by one. Now we will go with experience builder page. If we enable this checkbox, allow employees to log in directly to an experience cloud site. Then employees can log in directly into our site by using username and password. But here the employees must be the members of our site to log in into our site. Here we can select the login options to display on the login page. Generally users log in into our site by using the site's default username and password. If we want to allow them to log in with other credentials like Facebook, Twitter, Google, we have to configure the auth providers. We will discuss about this in the coming sessions. Next one is login logout page URL. When we click on logout in our site, we will navigate to the login page of our site automatically. If we want to navigate to any other page instead of login page, then we have to give that page URL here. Password pages. Similar to the login pages, we can customize the forgot password and reset password pages also. Here, we can use default page, experience builder page or visual force page for forgot password pages. For reset password, we have only two pages that is default page and visual force page. Next one is registration page configuration. In the previous sessions, we had discussed about how external users can self-register into our site. In that, we had already discussed about this registration page configuration. When we enable this checkbox, allow customers and partners to self-register into our site, then external users can self-register into our site. Here in registration page types, we can select any of these pages. Now we will go with experience builder page and click on save. Now go to incognito window and refresh the page. Here we can change our company logo. This is the 
experience builder login page by using this login page employees can log in into our site by using their username and password who already became the member of our site if the external users want to log in into our site then they have to click on not a member and they have to register here in previous sessions we had already discussed about how customer users can log in into our site by using username and password and how external users can self register into our site now we are discussing about the customizations of login and registration page so i am not logging in again uh, we can customize this uh, registration page and login page to do these customizations go to experience builder click on builder go to pages menu search for login page select the login page click on this login page here we can edit the properties if we want to enter instead of username we can give enter username in place holder enter password when we click on password it will navigate to forgot forgot password page when we click on not a member it will navigate to self registration page instead of not a member if we want to give we can give sign up also here this is the login page now we will customize the registration page go to pages menu search for register page select the register page click on this page here when the user click on sign up he will navigate to check password reset email page he has to enter the first name last name email if we enable this check box include password field then external user has to enter the create password and confirm password now i don't want this one if we want to collect more information from the external users like contact details then we have to enter those details here in extra fields field set name click on publish click on publish click on got it now refresh this page again this is the login page here it here we can observe enter username enter password and here instead of not a member now we, we are seeing sign up this is how we can customize the login and register pages now we will go with another page go to administration login and registration here in login page setup select the default page in registration page also select the default page we can go with any combination click on save now open the site url in incognito window this is the default login page 
and when we click on sign up this is the default re uh, registration page now we will go with visual force page select visual force page and here we have to select the pre built login visual force page select the login page select site login page here in registration page also select the visual force page here we have to select the register page select site register page and click on save let's open the site url in incognito window to observe the changes this is the visual force login page when we click on new user this is the visual force registration page now we will go with another page go to login and registration here select login discovery page when we select login discovery page instead of uh, logging it with using a username and password user has to log in using email or phone do the email or phone and click on create a login discovery handler when we click on this uh, login discovery handler will create automatically execute login as select system admin here in registration page select configurable self registration page when we select configurable self registration page we have to select any of these fields if we select email in verification method we have to select email then user will receive the otp to his email if we select mobile instead of email then in verification method we have to select the text me message if we select last name first name username or nickname instead of mobile or phone in verification method we have to select none and we have to select include password in configurable self registration handler click on create a configurable self registration handler then the self registration handler will create automatically execute registration as select system admin click on save let's open the site url again this is the login discovery page user will log in using use email or phone instead of username and password and when when we click on sign up this is the configurable self registration page user has to enter the last name password and confirm password these are the different pages available this is how we can customize the login and registration pages
these are the references please go through those references please subscribe to salesforce tech book thank you